Howdy y'all, welcome back to The Sinking City. Uh, I am going to say that sadly this will be the last video of this playthrough. Um, it's partly because it is not getting views, really. Um, I know I'm a little late to the party, but even so, I think this is a kind of game that just isn't really good for me uh, to do a let's play of, even though I am very much enjoying what I'm playing so far. And if you are enjoying what you're seeing and you like it, um, I encourage you to purchase it yourself. Maybe get the Necronomicon edition if you can afford it. Um, but before we finish, we're gonna do the um, the diving. So let's place it on the map. So in Grimhaven Bay on C Smith Avenue between Levy Coffin and Deep Shore Road. Here's Deep Shore Road. Deep Shore Road. Hmm. Levy Coffin. Here we go. So about here. And there's a fast travel point, so that's good. We can get there very quickly. So I just think this is a game best for me to play on my own. And I, um, yeah, it's just, cause it's gonna be so much editing and there's no, and you know, I have the usual issues with my micro, with the software. So let's um, travel there. So we'll do some of the diving bits, which is something I'm honestly not really looking forward to. I may record some more videos just in case I change my mind. Um, if you want me to continue, do please comment. Because even though I'm not really responding or thumbs upping comments, I do read them. So feel free to comment and keep the comments pertinent to the video. <laughs> Because um, otherwise this game is just a lot of reading, um, and I know everyone loves the sound of my voice, I never get complaints, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's more reading than commentary, if that makes sense at all. Alright, let me just make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, we got a long way to go, so yeah, we just go straight. So let's run. No. Okay. I don't. Let me see if I can craft. Nope. Not those, at least. I don't have any explosives and traps. I've seen other people play, and they have. They can, like, craft Molotovs. And I don't know how they're capable of doing that. I mean, I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point, but. coming. I s saw a little bit ahead. Not too much, though. Oh, there's another fast travel point. Let me just get to it, though. Just so that way it's like, oh, you found it! Come on. There you are. Alright. Alrighty. So. Levi Coffin Avenue. Danger there. Hmm. Is this it? 
I mean, this looks like it would be such a place. Instance motors. deal with that. Okay. On C. Smith Avenue. Oh. Oh. Gotcha. So it's around here, actually. Oh, it's actually right here. I went to the wrong place. Oh, well, at least we got that. What? Who's cursed? Are you me? No. Okay. Well. Oops a doops. I went the wrong way. But we can fix this, though. So while I may not be continuing this game on the channel, um, I do know the Bloober Team's Blair Witch will be coming out next month. That sounds exciting. It looks interesting. It looks like it might be fun. Um, I remember when the first Blair Witch came out. Uh, I was just a kid. I wanted to see it, um, but I wasn't allowed to, and I didn't see it until, like, maybe ten years later. And while it hasn't aged that well, it was something at the time. It was a phenomenon. There wasn't anything like it. And, like, people actually thought it was real for a time. So hopefully it'll be fun. It'll be enjoyable. It will be scary. Maybe something that doesn't involve so many trippy things might be good for a blue routine to do. Gins. Ugh. Nasty little things. Alright. Now, I get... I'm hearing something slur... like... slushing about. Oh, it's that. Okay. Alright, thank you for the pistol round. I definitely need it. This wouldn't even hold air for a minute. All right. Well, I, we're not going down there. I'm not trusting my life to a rusty suit. All right. Fair enough. Was I talking about anything in particular? I just remember the Blair Witch. No, I remember now. I really, really hate deep sea parts in games. Not just like water mechanics, but like just going underwater. It creeps me out. Is this it? That's it. Okay, we got harpoon gun, flare gun, diving suit, evidence, evidence. All evidence collected. Let's take a look. 
old but in a good state. I should be good down to about 100 meters in. And here we go. The, uh, the expedition's final dive was made near a cluster of underwater rocks known as the Devil's Teeth. The Devil's Teeth are not far from the Oakmont port. I have the coordinates and should be able to get there by boat. I think that's the boat I'm to take on Pier 3. Hmm. Yeah, that was the, uh, where the fight was, wasn't it, though? Okay, we got all the evidence. So, let's just get out of here. I'm like really not looking to forward to any underwater bits in this game, especially since that seems to be where a lot of Lovecraftian monsters reside. Uh, so not excited about it. <sighs> Sorry, I need to turn myself around. Be easier this way. Mare's curse these days. Here it is, okay. Sorry, taking a drink. Okay, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this bit. Can you imagine diving in a suit like that nowadays? <laughs> okay, the locals know their city. Don't care about newcomers' convenience. Thank you. Still follow them. 
All right, so the harpoon stuns hostile creatures for a short time, flares light your way, and can distract hostile creatures. R1 if damaged, hold to slowly recover your diving suit's pressure. This stone isn't natural. Could it be a statue? Hmm. Don't know. Not really my place to say. Just gonna have it at the ready. Looks like someone had their helmet removed. Okay, see, that's the sort of stuff I hate. I don't. You're fine. Still flares over here. Oh, careful. Trying to see if I can activate it without my mind's eye doesn't seem to be the case. But they saw something. And that guy didn't make it. Why do I have that? Sorry. Uh, I don't know why I have that pinned. Here we go. Key evidence collected. The scientists didn't even take their tools with them. They just... Whatever happened, they just went, fuck it. What the hell? Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their aphid. Uh, he's lost his mind. Madness emanates from the scientists. There is something odd about being in the presence of these scientists. I feel my grip on reality slip when I'm near them. One hell of a cave. The 
those suits are all cut up. Oh, there's someone over there. Oh, I haven't had this pop up. Here we go. And smell their attack. A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throgmorton. A ritual knife okay. and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throgmorton. That's what was taking the photo for. All right. Sancta Mare, be our eyes. Eyes to see the distant stars. Hark, he comes. The sacred full-bellied bearer of splendor. Take me, make me, I beg you. Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Uh, uh, our, our eyes. First, second, third, opened by the aura. You see much, yet do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight answer. Nonsense. <laughs> but, but it is meaning that is meaningless. Open yourself. Walk. Listen. Pray. Wake, you holy worm. Take his skin and skull for your home. Take my worship and grant your kindness. I pray you. <laughs> All right, they lost it. can't leave the survivors to die here. Even if their madness may influence others, this was not their fault. I mean, it might spread to others, but yeah, it's wrong to just abandon them. I think. Perfectly preserved artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? Hmm. Into the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought I saw maybe something back there. Okay. Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! The seed and the seal. Okay. What? It's shivering. This. Uh, no! Uh, get away from me! I think I'm starting to get the picture. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Okay. What? It's shivering. Forget them. Get the seed and the seal now. The expedition found an artifact that drove them mad. And then the Innsmouthers stole it and the professor in one go. So, 
we got some new mythos here. The temple discovered by the expedition was a place of worship for the weird creature. The statue and the prehistoric ruins look like they were made not by the hand of man. All right. The Innsmelfers ambushed the expedition on the seabed in the caverns they had discovered. They waited until Professor Doe took the artifact and then attacked. The attackers seized the professor and the object, leaving the remainder of the expedition to their fates. The outbreak of madness on the Titania was caused by Albert's presence. The crew exiled him on the lifeboat to stop it. Albert was the source of this madness. The Innsmouthers plot. The Innsmouthers know the truth about this madness. They need the artifact and Harriet, the one who took it. I have to save the expedition. I must tell Robert where the survivors are and start searching for Harriet. But should I? Maybe... I mean... Albert was the source and a lot of people died because of it. I'm gonna go with <laughs> I changed my mind. We're just gonna have to abandon them. I'm sorry. It's kind of interesting how, I mean, that's a different way of the whole, like, choice thing. It's not via dialogue option, it's by making reasonable, practical deductions. Alright, well, I guess we have to go back now. I really don't want to, but oh well. I'd rather just, like, skip all of this. Oh. Whew. And the game knows it. Thank you, game. Oh no. Are we getting the bins? Yeah, I know you can really do some damage to yourself if you come up too quickly. Alright, evidence updated. Well, let's take a look. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. In Southern Old Grove. Okay. Southern Old Grove. Whoops, sorry. Um, here's Coverside Old Grove. I'm assuming... I don't know. Southern Old Grove, I'm assuming this is it. So we can, this would be the fastest route. Let me stop by my hotel though, real quick though.
parasite. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we're back here. <laughs> I guess I'm back at my hotel, whether I like it or not. <laughs> Okay, it's still there. Just trying to see if there's anything else. Like any notes or anything of the sort. The doctors at the Boston Asylum were looking for a way to fix me. Proved to be a tall order. At first, they'd ask me questions. I thought my story would be reported to the officials but they were just making a list of things to fix. I feared water, so they swaddled me in drenched sheets. I told them about the things in the darkness, so they kept me in dark rooms, blindfolded. They're trying to fight your phobias with the phobia. That's an actual thing. It's uh, exposure therapy, I believe. No progress until they brought the electrodes. They kept my thoughts jumbled. Only the words of the doctor held my mind together. He told me who I am and how to think. He gave me concoctions to keep me sane. Seems I'm getting used to it. Question is, for better or for worse. All right. Okay. Here we go. Um, we got a knowledge point. All right. Anything else? This was the room with all the Necronomicon stuff in it. It took a lot of effort to track down this book after being stolen from the Throgmorton Museum. It was bought by a local surgeon who was found dead in his house after the flood. I snuck in and checked out his place, but in vain. Still, there is somewhere else the tome may be. The private hospital in Western Reed Heights, where the surgeon worked, has been abandoned. The archives say it is on Bourbon Road, between Innsmouth Road and Oak Street. So I missed that one. Is there anything else I missed? I don't think so. <sighs> the door won't budge. I have a feeling we'll get in there at some point. I'm watching you, newcomer. Thank you. I can't talk to you. Or to you. Alright, well. I'll have to look at how you get the, the traps. Alright, let's head to... Pretty sure that's where we go next, is to Frogmorton.
There it is, right there. All right. So we just take a left, go straight, right. Okay. I'm just passing through. It didn't load in properly. A little slow there, huh? Nah. That's not a good thing. You want that to not have to wait. This uh, fast point here. All right, this is definitely uh, upper class. <laughs> Wonder whose house this is. and Albert. Uh, the mortician has touched him up well. <sighs> Bad news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are dead, and the Innsmouthers kidnapped the professor. Those degenerates, they dare get in my way. Your expedition found something buried in the ruins. The Innsmouthers were after it. They captured Professor Dell along with the artifact she was carrying. Artifact? What artifact? Where did you find them? Tell me everything. Your men found some kind of underwater temple. In it was an ancient artifact. The Innsmouthers call it the Seal. The Innsmouthers were lying in wait. Your men took the item and the Innsmouthers took their chance and made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. How did they catch them off guard? Seems that after the seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental breakdown. The Innsmouthers must have known about that and waited for the right moment. They... they knew what was going to happen. Inconceivable. Wait a moment, how did you know they were Innsmouthers? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They have Harriet, and the artifact she found. But she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. I'm looking into the madness, not politics and power games. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. I can be delicate when it matters, so shoot. 
I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton, not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. Indeed. Here is Herbert's address and an advance for your investigation. You'll find it's fair. All right. Have a good day. Okay. Quid pro quo. All right. So let's take a look here. Goldbridge Road between Wynn Half and Century Avenue. Central Old Grove. Wynn Half and Century. Goldbridge Road. So about here. Take a look. In loving memory. Albert Throgmorton, son of respected Robert Throgmorton and descendant of a robust bloodline, okay, died on Thursday at Oakmont Port, aged 25. He, we mourn his untimely death, but we celebrate the way he lived his life. The Throgmorton family appreciates the many comforting words and prayers sent by the citizens of Oakmont. <sighs> All right. Just see if there's anything else I can get in here. Some nice uh, appliances. Very nice. Fancy cigarettes. Little storage room. No one's stopping me. Got a little pool table here. Not really much of a basement. That <sighs> one for decorating, I see. At least the basement. This is this is all done up. Ooh. Jesus. Ooh. Ooh look at that. That's so plush. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, doesn't look like there's really much for me to interact with, unfortunately. Just the one room? Did your son not live with you? <sighs> the door won't budge. He's kept it locked up, I bet. Alright, well, we are done here. And I know that it isn't very... I said I was going to record more. I don't think I will. Um, I think I'm just going to end the playthrough here. I'm sorry there isn't much going on. Um, I feel bad. I don't really like finishing playthroughs, but I don't think this is a game that's going to be good for me to do a let's play of. Um, but I will try to find something else to play. Um, we got the Blair Witch Project coming out in about, about a month, and season um, episode 4 of Life is Strange 2 should be coming out in August too. So we got those coming up. Um, Catherine will be coming out, the Catherine Full Body will be coming out at the beginning of September. So there's a lot of stuff coming out that I'll be doing here. Um, I just won't be continuing this. I'm sorry. 
I apologize for that. But I do thank you for watching. Uh, if you like The Sinking City, I do encourage you to get it and play it. Um, and that'll be it for this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.